Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math questions out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you find on page number 239, problem number 2.8.6, which involves understanding the equation of a circle, which is what we've been working on since yesterday. And as I explained yesterday, what we did yesterday was figuring out the coordinates of these four points, A, B, C, and D, so that, so that A to A is 3, O to B, O to A is 3, O to B is 3, O to C is 3, O to D is 3. If that were the case, what are the coordinates of these points? A, B, C, D. And we found that yesterday. These are the coordinates there. We're going to build upon it. And from that, you will see evolve a circle. Something resembling a circle. But you have to be patient. What we're going to do today, what we're going to do today is what you, what you will see in a second here. Oh, jeez. Oh, you didn't hear it. You did not hear it. I am a bilingual, but that is not the sort of second language I wanted to use. Do you understand? That's your x, or that's your negative, negative 3 over 3? D is negative, and this is positive. Okay, back to here. What I want you to notice is this. Notice here, notice that the sum of the squares of the coordinates of any of these points equals 9. Did you notice that before? Of course we did not because you have a life. So I'm pointing it out to you because I did notice it. Let's find out. For example, A, coordinates of A are 3 over root 2. 3 over root 2. You take the square of it, that's the x coordinate of point A. That is the x coordinate of point A. x coordinate of point A. What it says is, is what it says is the sum of the squares of the coordinates of any point. Or sum of the squares. This is the square of the coordinate. Now we're going to take the sum. The y coordinate is 3 over root 2. 3 over root 2, and you square that 2, and what we're claiming is that that equals 9. Let's find out if that's true. This is point A. Let's see if it's true. 3 squared is 9, the square root of root 2, the square root of root 2 is 2. 3 squared is 9, the square root of root 2 is 2. 9 over root, 9 over 2 plus 9 over 2 is simply, is simply 9, because it's going to give you 18 over 2. 18 over 2 is 9, as you can see. Now let's go to point B. Point B, in point B the only thing that is changing, only thing that changes is that x coordinate is still positive, x coordinate is still positive, but y is negative. It's the same value, but the y is negative. Well if you make the y coordinate, y coordinates of, y coordinates of point B is negative, but it doesn't change anything because it's being squared. Square, square of negative 3 is still 9. 9 over 2 and 9 over 2. Sum of 9 over 2 and 9 over 2 is 9. Let's go to point C. In point C, they are both negatives, which doesn't matter. Even if you make this one negative, it's not going to change anything because again, square of negative 3 is 9. The square of negative 3 is 9. 9 over 2 and 9 over 2 gives us 9. Finally, we go to point D, and the same story is going to repeat. In point D, x is negative and y is positive. But it doesn't change anything. As you can see, as you can see clearly, that the sum, the sum of the squares of the coordinates of any points 
does in fact equal 9. How do we write that? How do we write that? Let's, let's find out. The way we would write this part, but the way we would write this part, let's put it someplace where we, oh, we don't need this one right here. How do we write this? Sum of the squares, sum of the squares of sum of the squares of the coordinates of any points. These are the coordinates. This is x coordinate, this is y coordinate. So sum of the squares, x coordinate, you take the x coordinate of any point, square it, you take the y coordinate of any point, you square it, and that is equals to 9. Voila. That is equal to 9. That is a very special equation. We'll talk about that in a second. But before I do that, I want to introduce four more points. I want to introduce four more points. I'm going to raise all of this now. Let's introduce four more points on the same graph. But, but instead of making it too crowded, I'm going to redraw it. This one, uh, this one was A, B, C, and D. Let's introduce three more points, uh, four more points. Let's introduce four more points. We have A, B, C, D. Let's call it E, F, G, and H. And, and again, we will in, we introduce four more points. We introduce four more points such that such that O to A, oh sorry, O to E is same as O to F, which is same as O to G. This is the G. Which is same as O to H and which is 3. Let's find out very quickly the coordinates of these four points. O E, uh, e O to E is 3, O to F is 3, O to G is 3, O to H is 3. Let's find out their coordinates. E is going to be 3 and 0, F is going to be negative 3 and 0, G is going to be negative 3, it's not negative 3 and 0, F is, F is 0, negative 3, G is negative 3 and 0, and H is 0 and positive 3. Again, what do you notice? What we notice again is the exact same thing. What we notice again is the exact same thing. The sum of the squares of, of sum of the squares of the coordinates of any of these points equals 9. 0 squares plus 3 squares equals 9. 3 squares plus 0 squares equals 9. 0 squared plus negative 3 squared equals 9. See, let's start, let's start with the first guy here, E, which is 3 squared plus 0 squared equals 9. Then we have 0 squared plus negative 3 squared equals 9. Then we have negative 3 squared plus 0 squared equals 9. And then we have 0 squared plus 3 squared equals 9. Again, it is it, it holds true. It is still true that the sum of the squares of any coordinates of a, sum of the squares of the coordinates of any point, sum of the squares of the coordinates of any points equals 9. Let's join this point, shall we? Let's join this point and see what we get. Keep your fingers crossed. fingers crossed you did not. that we 
just obtained is what is known in some circles as a circle. Voila, what do you know? I know, I know, I'm being Sometimes I amaze myself, the width of it. That's what it is. It's a circle, obviously, as you can see it. It's a circle. That is an equation of a circle. What we have here What we have here is an equation of a circle. This is an equation of a circle. But not any old circle. You have to specify. There are two conditions it has to fulfill. Two conditions are right there. First is that this is an equation of a circle with its center at 0, 0. Its center is at 0, 0. What's the second condition? The second condition is that and has a, oh this is getting very crowded, radius of 3. Voila, radius of 3. See, this is 3, this is 3. Yesterday we found that this was 3, this distance was 3, this distance was 3, and this distance was 3. And yesterday we found the coordinates. Yesterday we found the coordinates of point A point B, point C, and point D. We found the coordinates of those points yesterday, those four points yesterday, and we also found that when we, that when we square the x coordinate and y coordinate of any of these four and any of these four points, A, B, C, D, and if we add them, we also get nine. So in other words, no matter what points that we get on this curve, no matter what point we pick here, No matter, no matter which point we pick on the circle, the sum of the squares of its x and y coordinate will equal 9. Voila! No matter which point you pick, any point at all. You can put this point, that point, this point, this point, that point, any point. There are infinite points on this circle. And any point on this circle, when you square the sum of its coordinates and you add the squares of these coordinates, x coordinates and y coordinate, it will always equal 9. And that tells us that the radius of the circle is 3 and it is sitting precisely at the origin. Now, of course, the plot is going to thicken soon. Plot is soon, plot is soon going to thicken because the circles do not always sit at the origin. They move around. They move about. And we'll talk about that when the time comes. But before we do that, let's look at a few more circles, shall we? Let's look at a few more circles. Here's the equation. You tell me the center. You tell me the center of it. You tell me the center and you tell me the radius. I'm going to write down all of them and then you put down the answers, the centers and the radius, centers and the radii x squared plus y squared equals 9, x squared plus y squared equals 25, x squared plus y squared equals 100, x squared plus y squared equals 1, and finally x squared plus y squared equals 400. All of this, all of these circles that you see here, all of these circles here, just by looking at them, we can tell that they're all sitting at the origin. Because no adjustment has been made to no adjustment has been made to the x-coordinate, 
all the y coordinates. When you move things about, as you, if you watch the last two videos, last yesterday and the day before the videos, as a, which is why I always emphasize that you watch this in sequence. If you watch the previous two videos, you know that when you think move things about, you have to make an adjustment to the x coordinate and the y coordinate. When we did the parabola, when we moved it one unit to the right, we had to make the adjustment to the x coordinate. When we pulled it down four units, we have to make the adjustment to the y coordinates. No adjustment is made here, which tells us that this is sitting right at the center. It is sitting right at the center, all of them. Center is 0, 0 in all of them. That is very simple. Center is 0, 0 in all of them. What about their radii? Radii is the plural of radius. What about their radii? This is 9, that tells us the radius is 3. This circle has has 25 here, that tells us the radius is 5. This one has a radius of 10. This one is 1 squared is what it is. This one was 10 squared, this was 5 squared, this is 9 squared, this is 1 squared, 1 squared is 1. So it has a radius of 1. What about this one? Square of what number equals 400? 400, that's the same as, that's the same as 20 squared. So it has a radius of 20. Voila. That's it. What we're going to do tomorrow is, as I said before, what we're going to do tomorrow is to thicken the plot. We're going to thicken the plot and we're going to move this bloody thing. Where are we going to move it? Well, we're going to move it to where you see finally in the picture. We've been, we've been, I've been, I've been pointing to this problem for the last two days, the problem number 2.8.6. 2.8.6 at the bottom of page 239. Not the big circle. The big circle is sitting right at the center. Big circle, big circle, big circle. The big circle that you see there is very civilized, it is behaving. But the little one is out of control. It's going all over the place. It has moved. It has moved some units to the on the x-axis to the right. It has moved some units on the y-axis to the to the to the to down. We have to find out this equation. And that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow as to how to figure it out just by just by visual inspection. You should be able to tell the equation of a circle just by visual inspection like that. Like that in a second. Do you understand? And that's what we're trying. That's what we're trying to understand. That's what we're trying to learn, which we'll do tomorrow. Okay, and that'll be the last day that we will spend on the notion of circle. These are very basic things about very fundamental concepts of geometry, very fundamental shapes. Rather, is what I meant to say. These are very basic concepts of very fundamental shapes of geometry that the people who give you the exam, the people who give you the GRE exam, expect you to know. They expect you to know these things at the fingertips, if you want to do well on the exam, that is, obviously. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.